Hey Planet Destiny viewers, Fallout here, and today I'm going to show you an unusual but effective strategy for playing in the Crucible, focused around using one of the more unusual weapons in Destiny, the Tlaloc. The Tlaloc is an exotic scout rifle that can only be used by the Warlock. You can get one by hitting rank 3 in the Gunsmith and completing the quest back in the saddle. According to the Bungie Armory, Tlaloc has a base impact of 48 and a base rate of fire of 37, putting it in the same category as the Boolean Gemini, the Hung Jury, or the Vision of Confluence. What makes this gun interesting though is its unique perk, Overflow. This weapon has better handling, rate of fire, and stability while the wielder's super is fully charged. Now before we get any further, let's talk about how much the gun improves when your super is charged, starting with the rate of fire. Here's a comparison of Tlaloc's rate of fire normally, and its rate of fire when your super is fully charged. That's a pretty good increase. Let me show you something else. Here's a rate of fire comparison between the Tlaloc with Overflow active and another great PvP scout rifle, the Mita Multitool. I'm going to shoot off 10 rounds as fast as possible to see which gun shoots faster overall. Yep, that's right, the Tlaloc with Overflow fires faster than the Mita Multitool, a scout rifle known for being able to fire pretty quickly. Now, let's take a look at stability. Here's a freeze frame comparison showing how stable the Tlaloc is normally and how stable it is with Overflow active. Take a look at where the shot hit the wall in each test, and then look at how far the reticle kicked up from the shot. Not bad. Again, just to give you a comparison, let's compare that to a scout rifle that's known for having great stability, the Vision of Confluence. That's pretty damn impressive. The Tlaloc with Overflow is just a tiny bit more stable than the Vision. Finally, let's take a look at the increased handling. Here's how fast you can aim down sight with the Tlaloc normally. And now with Overflow active. Here's how fast your gun readies with Tlaloc normally. And how fast your gun readies with Overflow. It's almost like having the Blade Dancer perk quick draw for your Warlock. So, what you end up getting from all this is, a scout rifle with the impact of the Boolean Gemini, a faster rate of fire than the Mita Multitool, more stability than the Vision of Confluence, and lightning fast handling. All in all, the Tlaloc is a really deadly scout rifle. Unfortunately, it comes at a pretty big cost. All these improvements to the gun only kick in when your super is fully charged, meaning that if you want to use the Tlaloc at its full potential, you have to not use your super. Yeah, I know that sounds crazy, but let's look at it logically. In most games of Crucible, depending on the game type you're playing, you'll only be using your super a small number of times per game, maybe two or three times on average. Most of the time you spend playing in the Crucible is done in the neutral game. So, in theory, if your neutral gameplay is way better than your opponent's, you should end up beating your opponent in the neutral game for the majority of the match. Not to mention that, for the most part, Warlocks have really good neutral games. Aside from having the best melee range in the game, both the Stormcaller and the Voidwalker have good grenades and perks on the skill tree that can boost your neutral game. The subclass that really shines using the Tlaloc is the Sunsinger. The Sunsinger has an amazing neutral game, arguably one of the best melees in PvP with Flame Shield, and really deadly Firebolt grenades that are super accurate and deal heavy damage over time. It's also worth noting that the Tlaloc comes equipped with the perk Grenadier, which reduces the cooldown of your grenade each time you get a kill with the gun. By how much? It depends on your discipline, but the overall reduction is 10%, meaning if you're playing at tier 5 discipline, your normal grenade recharge rate of 25 seconds will drop by 2.5 seconds every time you get a kill with the Tlaloc. It might not sound like a lot, but it all adds up, especially because there's no limit on how many times the Grenadier perk can be triggered. Considering how good the Sunsinger Firebolt Grenade is in PvP, having Grenadier on the Tlaloc pairs really, really well with the Sunsinger. One game type that immediately comes to mind when using the Tlaloc is Trials of Osiris. 
Sunsingers are infamous for holding onto their supers in trials, so they can potentially self-revive when the time is right to try to swing offensive momentum back to their team. So, if you're holding onto your super anyway, why not use a weapon that benefits you from doing so? Especially when the weapon is really powerful. Even outside of trials, the Talalok has the potential to ruin people in the neutral game of any PvP game type. If you're listening to all this and saying to yourself, I don't know Fallout, holding onto your super the whole game? That sounds pretty goddamn crazy. Well here's the thing about Tlaloc, you don't have to hold onto your super the entire game. If you feel like you're in a situation where you really want to use your super, just do it. Then when you're done, just switch off Tlaloc back to another gun that you feel good about using. When your super gets fully charged again and you feel like picking people off with a great gun, just switch back to Tlaloc. It's really just that easy. You can use it when you can, and when your super isn't full, just use something different. There's even exotic armor that complements using the Tlaloc, like the Alchemist's Raiment, which has the perk Iron to Gold. Picking up orbs of light when your super is full recharge your grenades in melee. It's like they were made for each other. Real quick, I did some testing on which barrel and gun perks you should put on when using the Tlaloc to see if there was a big difference in shots to kill. For the most part, there isn't. All testing was done on an opponent with max armor, and there were only two situations where having minimum impact and max stability was different from having maximum impact, one of them being if you missed literally all of your headshots. If you're a relatively accurate shot, however, even having minimum impact shouldn't affect your overall number of shots to kill, and I recommend going with Soft Ballistics and Injection Mold as the increased stability will really come in handy to help deal with the gun's boosted rate of fire when overflow is active. Alright, before this video ends, I've put together some sample builds for each Warlock subclass to give you a basic idea of how you can boost your neutral game to the max while playing with Tlaloc. Keep in mind that none of these builds are carved in stone. They're just a jumping off point. Always use what perks and abilities you feel best about using. Anyway, that's it for this guide. I hope you found it helpful. If you guys want to check out my own YouTube channel, Fallout Plays, which is focused entirely on Destiny PvP, you can find the link in the video description. I'll see you all next time, and thanks for watching Planet Destiny.